So I think one thing that we're missing when we understand assimilation, I need all eyes here, this is sort of important. So assimilation doesn't mean you're copying or you're, you're assimilation doesn't mean you're copying or choosing to do something or not do something. For example, there's a dominant culture. So when, um, for example, when islands in the Caribbean were colonized by the Europeans, the people who were native to those islands had to assimilate, which means they had to then take on parts of this other culture so they can be, they can survive in this new society. So essentially what's happening is to assimilate um, is to adapt. Or, so for example, a lot of people who are immigrants to America from a country that speaks a different language, they assimilate by trying to have an American accent. And so they're, they're removing a part of their culture that they had when they got there. So, what we need to figure out is what Hansberry is saying, essentially, about what it is and the different ways characters take on interacting with a dominant culture, which is white culture in America. So we need to figure out how characters are act, in, interacting and adapting differently. And so, Michelle sort of mentioned how we have a character who was assimilating by training her hair but then decided she will no longer assimilate because she wants to be connected to her African roots. So now, based off that, we need to figure out what's the message that the author is sending about assimilation as a whole for black people. Thank you for that clarification. No problem. Great. Oh, Sorry, right, guys. So, what? Um, tracking Sarai in the back. I don't believe that the pictures that we read about her, her going back to the African region, were was really helping us. If if we were to write about assimilation, we should have wrote, um, wrote about we should have got evidence from the part that she was talking to a Saladar. That would have been just evidence because people would have known because now people think that she's assimilated to African roots because of the part that we read. If we if we took evidence from a Saladar and the conversation did, then we would have. Great. So now can you respond? How do you agree that anybody would think? Well, it would make no sense for you guys to think that because how she's going to assimilate to her own culture. Because first of all, people didn't know that was her own culture. People thought that she was actually acting like that was her culture because that's not going to her something from his actual um, country. But they're African American. So there's a commentary from the so author. They, the entire right. book is out, is on black people in America. Bring it back three. Bring it back in one. Stanford, Madeira. Two thousand are off Stanford. I appreciate that we're getting so excited. Jeremiah, you're calling out. You can continue to call out. Soraya, I see your confusion. So in, in having Benita choose not to assimilate any longer, right, having her embrace her African culture, there is a commentary about, about assimilation. Let's start here. Does she think assimil assimilating is good or bad? Yeah. Great. So now we need to elaborate. What is the message about assimilation? We're going to go into revising our exit tickets silently and independently. I'm going to come around and check. Jump right in. You have feedback on your exit ticket to read before you start. Oh, Thank you. 